So this is uh, have this gonna... one first. Well, <laughs> we probably should have because we did all those other bullshit books. This we did. is a but bummer. Wanted... This book was a bummer. Well, that's why I want to say it for last because I didn't want to like kill the move for everything else. But this book is going on right now is called <laughs> Represent Number One. Now we need to get some background back about what Represent is because you haven't heard about this book and why you haven't heard about this book actually kind of pissed me off also because uh, this is actually a DC book. Uh, and they should have promoted this more than what's going on. So let's give some background. Now, for those who don't know, there was this uh, guy named Chris Cooper. Uh, happened about, actually the same around the time that George Floyd. Uh, it, was the, it was the day before George Floyd. It was the day before George Floyd. Right. So he was bird watching. He was bird watching. And while he was bird watching, uh, he got an altercation. Well, not an ar argument with this lady, with this white lady. And she threatened to call the cops on him because of their argument, just to shut him up. He filmed the whole thing saying that she was just going to just make up some bullshit just to say a black man threatened her. So the cops would come out there and do whatever, you know, she didn't yeah. care. She just threw this stuff around. So he filmed the whole thing and got out there. This really get too much noise because, like I said, the day after that, that's when the George Floyd thing happened. And then all hell broke loose, yeah. you know, just just with society in general. So let's just talk about this book what's going on right now. But. Why is this a thing? Because what she didn't know is that Chris Cooper actually used to be an editor for Marvel. So he has comic book connections. So what he decided to do is write a comic book about this. But he didn't write it for Marvel. He actually wrote it for DC. And DC actually released the book free. It's a free digital book. You can just yep. get it. The name of the book is called Represent. I'm probably going to send a link in the, uh, in, you know, in the description of it so you can go get the book yourself and check it out. So basically what this book is about is uh it starts so basically this book is based on his situation it's not him it's like you know fictional characters but it's playing out exactly how he did it so the book starts off with this you know kid named jewel jewel's gonna go bird watching he's got this uh binoculars that was given to him by his grandfather which all this shit happened just the, the name of the guy was changed and he goes out to this undisclosed area but we know it's central park you know where he goes uh why he goes there he's bird watching but it where he bird watching, and this is the fucked up part about it. He goes bird watching. This is and, sad, man. This is yeah. Sad. <laughs> this is this is this is really fucked up because he goes bird watching, but he sees ghosts while he's bird watching. Because the first ghost he sees is, and I had to do some research on this. I'm gonna do Diallo, and I didn't know about this. Like this is some shit. This happened back in '99. This is some real shit. Apparently, this is African exchange student that was going to uh, back to his home. Some you know. Unclothed police officers, they, like the police officers were, weren't dressed up like police officers. They dressed up, you know, in plain clothes. Plain clothes police officers thought he was like a serial rapist or like that and unloaded 41 bullets on him. This really happened. So he's seeing ghosts about that. He died. It wasn't while, him. While they, reaching for his ID. Yeah. While reaching for his ID, unloaded 41 bullets. 19 of the bullets hit. Died. You know, he was unarmed. You know, so he he's thinking, okay, I'm, I must be going crazy. This is crazy. So he goes bird watching again, sees another bird. And this one he sees, and this one fucked me up right here, Eli. He sees Breonna Taylor. Now, we keep talking about this over and over and over again. For you don't, guys that don't know who Breonna Taylor is or why this is important, she was a, a lab technician. She was in her home sleeping. The police officer thought there was a drug raid in her home, but it wasn't. It was actually like down the street from her. She had nothing to do with it. They burst in she was asleep. They shot her and killed her. Yeah. The police officers that did it have not been arrested at all. They have not been caught. That's why I keep seeing people saying, say her name, get just for yeah. Breonna Taylor. That's what this is about. This comic is talking about some shit that's really happening, that recent happened. Matter of fact, her, I think that. And her boyfriend freaked out when they busted in. He thought, well, people were busting in and he was defending right. his home because that's they, what they you know. had no warrant they yeah. had no no reason to bust him because you can't just bust, bust him door guns blazing and just shoot up a place with unarmed people you know that what they did they shot a killer and they they've not been arrested yet nothing they just you know just oh uh, well she did get the cover of vanity fair but they're doing everything except arresting people that shot her you know yeah what are we talking about let's go back to the comment okay so and this is what really fucked up happened oh uh, he goes since you know, people saying, get out of here, go do this. He goes to Central Park and there's a sign that says, protect your wildlife, dogs must be on a leash at all times. Meanwhile, uh, there is a dog running around with no leash, just chasing at the birds like that. Well, they said there's signs everywhere that your dog must have a leash. This really happened. Like I said, he's not making any of this. The only thing he's changing is the names. 
All this shit happened. Uh, he's telling the woman named Beth. We all know her name was Karen, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's telling uh, her name. Well, I don't think her name was Beth. I think her name. Yeah, her name is Beth. And she's basically her dog is just running around. No leash. And he's basically telling him your dog didn't have a leash. There's signs everywhere that your dog didn't have a leash because if you don't. They're going to chase these birds away, you know, and it's, it's causing a hazard. You know, and that's what he says. Look, if you don't put a dog a leash on that dog, I'm going to escalate the situation. You're going to do what? You're not going to do anything to me. Matter of fact, how about I call the police on you right now since you want to argue with me while the dog is still running around with no leash on with it. And here's the fucked up part about it, Eli. When I re originally released the story, more people was pissed off about the dog than the situation about, you know, she called the police on, on a dude. Oh, because she was choking the dog. Because she was choking the dog. They were more yeah. upset about the dog than anything else. Yeah. So, like, she'd be arrested for that. Like, what? Okay, whatever. But like I said, that's the world we live in. So she's like, you're yeah. threatening me. Uh, you can't do me. I'm gonna call the police in you. And while she's doing that, you see the ghost of all the unarmed black people that were killed standing behind him, almost like protecting him. You know, which in his, you know, in his mind, in the situation he went through, that's what was going on. So he like, and while she's just saying, "You're not gonna do this, you're not gonna do that," he just walks off from it, just goes about his business, just ignores her. And when he looks in the sky. He sees all the unarmed black people that died turned into angels because they were protecting the whole time because his story could have turned out just as bad as everybody else's story, but it didn't. Yeah. So that's the whole point he was trying to make. So then they showing like a real picture of him at the end, basically saying bird watching out of crime, you know, and I think this is a powerful story. And I think DC dropped the ball on this. They really should have got behind this. I don't know why they just dropped the free book and did no promotion on it whatsoever. That's kind of, that's kind of bad on their part. I think I heard about this through, uh, I think it was now this or something. One of them online news, uh, you know, sources dropped like a video. And right. That's how I heard about it. Right. I think yeah. I saw some. But I didn't know. I didn't know it was out already until you said you were going to read it. I was like, oh, is that that book that the bird right. watcher do? You know. Like you gotta you gotta look for it on comics. Yeah. Like it's yeah. not there like in the free comic. You gotta it, like look really. For it. I had to search. I because I went to free comics that week and it wasn't there i had to like search for represent right no. so so what i'm gonna do for everybody i am going to link a free link in there it's free download it it's 16 pages a quick read definitely read it because it was a powerful read it's like yeah it was she, a bummer she, yeah it was a bummer but like hey she picked the right one to do that she didn't know that she picked a you know a comic book writer that was doing this shit that's gonna put the shit out there now like i said the big companies should have got behind us they always talk about how woke they are and how you know how much they look for equality, but when shit like this happened, they just dump it and then, you know, just leave it out there. Like, they should have got behind it. This should have been pushed more than fucking Green Lantern season two. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, that's my thing. 